Uh, okay, sorry I'm a little bit late. I am... Uh, I am slightly in mid-conversation with my older brother, who tends to be kind of out of the blue, asking me about his login information for an online game we used to play back in... back fucking forever ago um i'm just gonna we all know what's about to happen um like, like the title says we're redoing the ending for god of war ragnarok because i'm dumb i i've said this several times i'm dumb i re i deleted the i uploaded the second to last part twice and then deleted what was actually supposed to be the last part uh fortunately we have a save to fall back on uh, but we also know what's about to happen in terms of, like, my audio going weird. We know OBS is about to jump from one monitor to the other one because I... Because for some reason, uh, when I change HDMI signals on one monitor, it changes... It, it makes both of them, like, go off and then OBS... Or my... Oh, there it goes. My screen... My OBS is going to jump from one monitor to the other one, then I'm going to have to switch back to the first monitor, my, H my PS5, it, my monitor actually isn't picking up a signal. <sighs> what is happening? Why are my... Oh dear, something weird is happening. Hello? I may have to restart my computer. Because I'm just in a loop of HDMI, of no HDMI signal. Oh, there it goes. Oh jeez, what year was that? I think it was 2012? But I don't remember. I'm sorry, I'm still in mid-conversation with my brother. Um, I am... Oh. That is not what I am trying to accomplish. That is also not what I'm trying to accomplish. Please just move the OBS over to my other monitor. Or why is my mouse not... There we go. Then there. Okay. See if the if we can get the game to you know actually do huh, stuff. Oh, awesome! I got signal on there. Okay. Uh, I definitely hear audio corruption. Oh my. And there goes the OBS again. And OBS jumped over. Time to... <sighs> Once again... Flip... Signals. Yeah, we're doing... Uh, 
up there. said now to a game that I haven't played in seven years at least <laughs> uh, okay let's see if we can I apologize for this this is, I, I now have, like, super split attention between testing my brother and... Oh, 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 okay, okay, there we go. Okay. I think I still hear... I, I definitely still hear the corruption. <sighs> And there goes the... <sighs> maybe that wasn't corruption, maybe it was just... Or maybe it was. Uh... Still trying to... Tell that's up. Was, <laughs> now he's referencing something that was... Why is my sound just gone now? What? Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh... It's a very old game that uh, he's considering playing. Uh, so we don't need to continue. We need to load. Auto save, auto save, auto save. Need guard. Why do we have so many auto saves? Uh, I guess it would be this one? There's like 30 auto saves in this. Um, I need. Uh, not this. To look at my goals. Okay, yeah, we can. Okay, six. Uh, and I need. Like. Uh. Sorry, four of six. I need to. God of War. Ragnarok, Muspelheim, Final Challenges. 
Uh, endurance. Boss Rush. I think it was a Ring of Fire? And Phantom that we needed. I know Phantom for sure is one. Um... Uh, so third and then first, for sure. Ah, shoot. Um, I'm gonna say second and then first. Oh my gosh, my brother will not stop texting me. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, we did the second one already, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, what? Did we? Did we, like, lock in a challenge and not... And then save after locking in a challenge and then not complete it? Which one is this? Um... Ring of Fire. Oh! Perfect. Uh... Yeah, we've already done this. Enemy behind you, Kratos! Right there. Ow. Hey, buddy, stop. gonna redo this. Uh, hello, MR OG. Thanks for hanging out, and thank you for the follow. Yeah, this, uh... That was entirely on me. I got way too greedy. <laughs> I'm just like, Dan I'm just like, sitting there outside of the ring. Enemy behind you! Where did that... There we go. Oh! Gotta get out of that. Grab this. Bam! Uh, game, are you serious? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I would love to do that if the game would stop. Alright, uh, let's do... Oh, jeez! Unblockable. Buddy, stop that. 
Let's, uh, I need to make a command for that. Okay, well, that was a thing that I didn't know. We're, we're kind of using this challenge to warm up, uh, because it has been, it's been almost a month since I played this. Uh, Enemy behind you, Kratos! I'm gonna immediately freeze that because I'm gonna forget otherwise. Out Coming! Ow! What the? I'm sitting there. Where's the You're on fire, Kratos? Enemy behind you, Kratos! Yep, I see him. Alright, let's put that one down. Yoink! Alright, that's easy for most of those guys. That particular spell sucked to go against.
So was, I'm hoping that was the second to last one we needed. Uh, five and six. Yep. Okay. So the last one we need is the is three and one. Also, I didn't realize, but my um, I, don't, I have to remember this. I didn't realize it, but my, um... Uh, so let's see, that's one... Spawn's Endurance... Uh... Does that... Like... If we could get full of, ever, full of all, all those, we would, uh, definitely... Be able to... choice is yours. Uh, definitely kill you. Ow. What do I Hopefully this won't take too long. Um, one thing I will say though is we're we're gonna do uh, things a little bit differently this time uh, because last time we completed all the trials, then fought Gnaw, then went straight to the funeral because there were two in, uh, bosses that I forgot about. I guess I didn't so much.
second best stuff can be made with high So used to the um, hilt of Graham and just using that to give myself the tiniest bit of a rage boost. Which challenge should we undertake? Uh, we're definitely doing rampage. I don't know why you even asked that. Howdy. Ow. Take it. Game is like trying to heal me.
that's... Alright, so now we should be able to do this last one. Uh, we're gonna suffer. Hurry up, please. <laughs> There, um, there. Game. Help. That's it. Down. Uh, we need to. We need to focus the main. Wow, that's awkward. Nope. Okay. So. Ow. Bam. Uh, game. This is bad. Rewards all Sutter had to offer. The steel yields to you. <sighs> Alright, we completed all of those. We've completed that. Ooh, you're brought a pail of water for twenty. Hello, Lunda. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. Uh, 
we need to boost our rays back up. And then cancel out of the transport. Alright, now I remember we have to we pretty much have to use the Leviathan ads against um this boss, but I want to make I want to go or against the Nets fight for the Nets fight basically, but I want to make sure my abilities are all back. And we definitely we we used Breath of Thomer in that last fight because we were uh, real low and needed the boost. I don't want to use my relic because that would have been a much longer cooldown than Breath of Thomer. <laughs> I think this is like a five minute cooldown? Oh, what did I get? Uh. Oh, Muspelheim's Essence, which has Runic and Luck. So there's Strength and Runic, Defense and Runic, Runic and Luck, Runic and Vitality, and Runic and Cooldown and Luck. It's interesting that they're. So many, um, all right. Now, let's go fight Gana again and suffer. Traitor Gana. She's fierce. Attack only if you think we are ready. I'll see you pay for what you've done! Oh. Oh. You abandoned us! Submit! Nope. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Hurry up, please do something. Oh, jeez! I forgot about that. I think we got this.
Jeez. Oh jeez! Well, we were close. <laughs> I like how she says that as if, uh... No matter what you try, there is some good! I'll see you pay what you've done! Oh jeez! I didn't know I could destroy those. Yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna restart because we we had full rage and then I then I uh uh give me a moment my brother is still hassling me um My brother. Oh, good. I'll see you pay for what you've done. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Game. What? I'm sitting there holding my block button, and the game's just like, no, you're not gonna block. Not again. What I expected, but I'll take it. Serious. Pathetic. Uh, she keeps spamming that submit ability uh, attack twice in a row, and there's nothing you I can do so about it. Oh, jeez. You're on fire, Kratos. I guess I'm supposed to hit that with a sigil arrow. Ah, that AoE. Alright, well we're doing terrible this time around. close. We keep alternating between really close and really far. 
no matter what you could. I'll just pay for what you've done. Ah, what the? The game like doesn't register my go my block at first. That was different. Yo. What are you? Why are you standing there? Oh, jeez. Something. Be able to hyper armor for this. Oh, jeez. Comfort of their warmth. I wronged you. And I cannot change that. Never apologize enough for it. But the hatred. Vengeance. You have to let it go. Finish it. 
Yes, sister. Uh, the audio broke again. So this is really sad because this was because this is a pretty epic scene. Valor completed. War entry, Gna. Odin's final Valkyrie queen. At one time she was Freya's handmaiden friend and trusted confidant. Mimir has called her a traitor, but it was clear she believed she was the one betrayed. Freya had spoken highly of her ambition, her conviction, and her unyielding loyalty. These would be admirable qualities in... Uh... This would be in a warrior, yet in the end her loyalty proved misplaced in Odin, even after his defeat. She met her end with dignity, though Freya took no satisfaction in delivering it. We also got stuff. We got the Rond of Obliteration, Shards of the Valkyrie. Hold L1 for several seconds to charge the shield, and then press L1 plus left stick to fire a volley of Valkyrie shards at the enemy. A shield drawn created through the paint through a painstaking process of tempering hundreds of Valkyrie feathers. I still think the rod of aggravation is uh, better because it's well potentially better. What 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 why does this say there's another we have another why does this still say we have a weapon? A uh, new thing. I'm just gonna assume it's a bug. Um we got the Queen's Roar, which is Freya's, I guess, I guess this is supposed to be, like, her best, um, ability. Her current one's on cooldown. And we also got Queen's Armor for Freya. And then this lore. Gna's journal. Well, this is, uh, interesting. I thought they would've fucking fixed this bug by now. It's been, like, three months since the game launched. Uh... Lore... Would there be a scroll? Yes, it is. Gna's journal. Must she always play the victim, as if she had no hand in the shaping of her fate. In her eyes, her brother abandoned her because of his selfishness, not because she was domineering and controlling. She was exiled from her own realm because her husband was evil, not because she was caught conspiring behind his back. Her son was unjustly killed because of a vengeful foreigner, not because she drove her own son to madness. And when I kill her, Freya will tell whomever will listen to her in hell that it was because her former handmaiden betrayed her, and not because she deserved every single thing that's happened to her. Here. Yeah. I'm sorry it came to that. I'm sorry it came to resetting my fucking monitor again and probably having to move OBS again. Why did my monitor not turn back on? Hello? Uh, oh, gotta move OBS back over, other because you guys are just seeing a computer background right now. Because I know that that's how OBS works. Actually, it might not be doing that, but I don't want to take the risk, because we've already have, we already have to redo this freaking thing. Um...
Sorry, I'm touching my brother again. being Queen of the Valkyrie once more. Queen? <laughs> Why? There are no Valkyries left. The shield made <laughs> Can you not lead them? Or rebuild? Hey. It would be the first time in a while I have something truly mine. We'll see. Well, fortunately, this has only taken an hour of the... Time slot. Water. Uh, but one thing we didn't do last time, which people will definitely know, which those of you who saw last time will definitely know is different. Uh, I need to go to Midgard, specifically to the Derelict Outpost. Okay, sorry. I, once again, this the, I should have just ignored the first test. <laughs> like, and I'm like, oh, sorry, I was uh, doing something. I mean, honestly, though, he could look at Discord and see, hey, I'm streaming, so it's like. <laughs> A little rude on his part too, because we because we're friends on Discord. Uh, this. Well, we'll deal with these guys first. Can change this. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Uh, why did my signal cut out? What? 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 Don't come back, monitor. Uh, I hate this monitor so much. <laughs> uh, I also need to equip. Unfortunately, I need to equip a different. This one, the mystical heirloom. Alright, this looks like an ice guy, so we're gonna equip fire. First! Yeah. 
Serious. What? What is happening? Okay, hold on. No, we're gonna reload. Um, and just because that took literally thirty seconds. <laughs> this should be the latest autosave. Uh, okay. We'll load this one instead. I don't know why my HDMI signal is cutting out. I it's fucking stupid. Okay. Uh, there. I need to re-equip re all my stuff. The Queen's roar. Um. Go over here, re equip the. Mystical Heirloom. Yeah, you know, with corrupted audio and all, because fuck this monitor. Actually, I'm certain that it's the capture guard. It's not the monitor. It's the fucking capture guard. You've made sure of that. Okay. Once again, let me restart my monitor. Why is my... Why is... Why? It may be a combination of both, because my monitor keeps not turning back on. Ah, uh, come on. This is, like, so fucking scuffed compared to last time, and I hate it. WHY ARE YOU NOT COMING BACK, MONITOR?! Oh, I hate this so fucking much. This just makes me want to stop fucking recording PS5 games. Alright, now to switch back over to PS... to... not switch the channel back over. Okay. Stone Idol of Souls. I don't know if this power is released when. What? When using a source of stones. Using Health Stone or Rage Stone could grant soul steel during a, which a small amount of health and rage is restored when striking enemies. Hmm. That. I mean, honestly. Well, I guess I used the Idrisil stuff, for, or the uh, Midyard stuff for the cooldown. I was going to say, that honestly would be better than the what I'm currently using. <sighs> Alright. Oh, uh, Blothuger Stein. A troll imprisoned by Alvis Stonefoot in Midgard. To be kept still by magic or by frost is a horror to consider. Like how how like death it is, yet to only sleep a prisoner inside your mind. I do not wish to think of it. Wait. 
Ragnarok armor's on the house. We'll call it a commemorative piece. Oh, did I not get the ride? Y'all feeling uh, crafty? No, I did get the Ragnarok stuff. It was Fate Breaker, right? Yes. And Lady. I want. Ah. Back. And once again, my audio is being stupid. <sighs> like, you can hear the, the low quality of the audio. And it's not the game, it's this fucking capture card I have. For some reason, it, it just randomly will drop quality in, like... For no reason. Like, it, it will drop significant amounts of quality for no reason. But I'm tired of fucking resetting my damn monitor and trying to fucking... Fix the stupid. Um... Now there's one more thing that is in, and it's in Spartalheim. One more battle for us. And yes, we have to have mystical airmen for us. I'm not even gonna bother equipping anything else. Um, is it this way? Uh, it might not. I might have gone the wrong direction. Yeah, I went the wrong direction. Ugh, video game, please. What? Video game. Please. Hold on. Come out here, then turn around, and that should f fix the stupid. Alright, uh... Yeah, we're gonna- we're definitely gonna have time to jump into Horizon after this. I'll have to remember to end my recording, but that shouldn't be any problem. Over here. Uh, I don't think that was it. Hold on. Maybe it was. Oh, it totally was. The Everlasting. Ah, what the? Okay. Surprise? 
What did you expect? That's a fair point. The Everlasting. We found this dragon on a shore in Svartalfheim. To imprison a beast this in this way, regardless of its misdeed, seems especially cruel. If no training is possible, it would ensure sa the safety of all to destroy it. Instead, too much reliance is placed on the bearer of the relic that imprisoned it, which leaves a wide berth for error and mishap. Anyone else notice the dragon broke free right after you used that one relic to open? I smell a connection. Ah, uh, we didn't exactly pilfer it there. Jotunheim's Force. Increases... Fucking all of our stats. Um... By six. Uh... We'll go with this one, because we have... Lower strength than defense. Uh, endurance would increase runic. Yeah, like, like honor essence. Yeah, like this. This is definitely a really good. Uh, set, in my opinion. Because we also get... more... Oh, they changed this. We get more rage based off of our vitality, but they actually changed that because we it used to just flat out increase our rage just straight up. Our, uh, our rage and health. Uh, so that's interesting. All right, and now... We have um, fully upgraded everything. Well, I say fully upgraded everything. Now, now that we have done everything, let's re equip Skofnum. That is everything in God of War Ragnarok. Aside from the funeral, which we are going to do now. now. The things we didn't do before were the last troll and the last dragon. Uh, but I included in the description of the last... Of the second... Of the last... Uh, uh, second to last in the... Like, the first post-game part and the second uh, post-game part... Are, um... All have the locations in the description and now I've now we've gone back and actually shown where they are so yeah um I will stop here at this world tree gate so we can top off our health because that is that is everything essentially for God of War Ragnarok aside from the uh funeral which we're doing now and like I said we already did all of this so I'm just dumb and didn't and uploaded the wrong video and then record uh, deleted the correct video <laughs> by which I mean I don't I uploaded part two twice uh, well the second part of video of the post game twice and then the third video of the post game I Accidentally deleted. Alternate lyrics to my ballad. Absolutely disgusting. Well, I deleted without uh, realizing. Oh, I uploaded the wrong now video. I wish I could remember some. Oh, the 
paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest dust for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> one. He taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling and from that day on called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true arsehole he was. Gods, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for you leaving it. We're taking him to the Sphered Sands. It's uh, in the wetlands for the ferry. We'll wait for you there. So we've definitely been there. Uh, ah, here we are. Let's go. So there's like a sewer entrance or whatever that we had to go through. Stone dragon. Did you now? And did you kill it? Yes. Of course you did. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't actually mean to do this. I feel like this should just be an upgrade. Ugh. There's so many of these things that I feel like should just be a, uh, like a natural skill thing. Like, oh, permafrost now charges on, like, on successful ads hit. Why can't I? Okay, why is it that just an up, a skill I can buy? Uh... Increases the like increases the damage the blades runic attacks when emulation is fully charged. I guess that's not as great. Um, increases all burn inflicted by fifty percent when and increases emulation when stricken burning. I mean, meh. Yeah, like, uh, just a lot of these are just, like, why are these not just general upgrades? <laughs> or, like, general, uh, and, and, like, the Hind of the Four Winds adds a concussive wave to the end of the R2 combo. Which is... Very useful, yes. But it's also like why is that that just an upgrade that we can that we naturally get from like it from like investing experience or something, like like the heavy combo I feel like uh the Like, I feel like that should just be, that wave should just be something we can, like, that should just be a skill we unlock. <laughs> Ooh. 
I don't know, maybe I'm weird. But it's still like... There's just so much about this game. Like, the game's great, don't get me wrong. It's just another one, but it's just another one of those things where it's like... This is a really weird thing to have as a piece of equipment when it just... It would feel a lot more natural if that was just something we could unlock using experience. Granted, we don't have anything we can really do with experience other than upgrade. I mean, obviously we can upgrade our relics a lot more. Um... But, like... Freya, for example, she's got 17,000 experience, nothing to spend it on. And yeah, now we're down to like 5,000 experience, sure, but, or 5,200 5, specifically. And like, yeah, we don't have everything, you know, fully matched out. Well, we have heavy attacks for drop near matched out. But everything else is like level one. Uh, we don't have like our runic attacks fully matched out. I guess we have meteoric slam matched out. Oh, because that was the raven uh, ability. And I'm like, oh, this seems like it would be really useful. Uh... But yeah, like we like we have a a lot of you know stuff that we could potentially put into um, like yeah we have a lot of runic attacks still that we could upgrade and uh, we're mad on the sport and rage but like eventually. But, like, we have all of our skills matched out, aside from, like, a couple that we could add, like, Rising Wind 1, for example, we can upgrade still. Uh, these evasion skills we can upgrade still. Gale Force we can, th well, Gale Force 3 we can upgrade. Essentially, there's, you know, there's stuff we can still do in terms of, like, upgrading if we really wanted to. So we, we absolutely could still get experience if we really, really wanted to. Um, and upgrade more stuff if we really, really, really wanted to. Or, or rather... I guess what I'm trying to say is we could still we still have experience or stuff we could use experience for in these skill trees. But like Freya, I can't upgrade her anymore. She has all of her abilities matched out. And it was the same thing with Atreus, but like way worse because he has like twenty thousand because he had like twenty thousand experience at leftover. And they're releasing New Game Plus, um, they're supposed to be adding New Game Plus later this year to this. Uh, which I'm not gonna play through, obviously, but, I mean, like, I'm sure other people will, and, um, people who don't, like, basically have to jump from one game to the next, essentially, uh, but, like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna play New Game Plus, but I'm sure others will. Because for, like, what I, for the, the game, for my intents and purposes, is completely done after we, after I upload this part that we're recording, re, that we're re-recording now. Uh...
But, like, I'm sure, like, with New Game Plus, it's basically gonna be, it, like, with New Game Plus, if we, like, were to go, like, if all of our skills and everything carries over, like most New Game Pluses, um, do, then there would be, like, th then there would be, like, by the time you played through everything a second time, you'd have, like, a whole ton of experience left over. And you'd just be like, well, now what do I do? <laughs> like, we completely maxed out literally everything. And then we... So, uh, like, I completely maxed out... You'd be like, well, now what do I do? Uh, we maxed out literally everything, and... I mean, I guess now I can just keep playing the game over and over again without having to worry about, like, completing side quests or leveling up. Well, I say leveling up, but, uh, without having to complete, like, side quests or, you know, increase equipment. Bas basically, the shop would, would, ha would serve no purpose. And experience would also serve no purpose, which the shop already doesn't really serve much purpose for us. Because, um, like, we got the Raven stuff, and that has been the best stuff for, for me, because I'm bad at the game and I need as much health as I can get. Uh, we need to go this way. We could have fast traveled, but wanted to get uh, some final thoughts. So. What is wrong? I should changed. Sounds a mourning garb. We're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Rux certainly would not. Perhaps. Phil, now you got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck. Some, maybe some gold woven to my beard. I think they fetch in it. Thanks for trying. I mean, he's still... Uh, he's already got some gold in his beard, I assume. Uh, those little studs and rings or whatever. Uh, but also, Freya, you're wearing literal... Uh, ar your armor is literally called the Queen's Armor. I don't think it gets yeah, more are, formal bro. than that. Oh, come on, surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. Again. Especially considering the circumstances. Reminder, um, Brock, uh, so, real quick, I want to say this reminder, um, Brock died before this, and Sendry brought him back to life by retrieving his soul from the Lake of Souls, but his, but he, Sendry didn't get Brock's direction back when he was bringing him back the first time. So, because of that, when Brock got killed the, dur during the events of uh, Ragnar God of War of this game, um, his soul basically just got just got scattered to the winds because it didn't have the component of it that tells it where to go, which way to go, etc., etc., etc. Um, and it, so it, it essentially brought, for all intents and purposes, no longer exists. There's no way bringing him, there's no other way to bring him, or there's no way to bring him back a second time because he, he didn't have his direction, um, and there's no way to, um, and he doesn't have an, he was denied an afterlife because his... Again, his soul just basically... All of the com different components of his soul basically just went off randomly. They didn't, like, stick together and stay, um... And they didn't, like, stick together and go all in the same area. I guess, technically, if we were to fit... 
it would be possible to bind all of his the components of his spirit, but it would require like really advanced magic that is beyond what is currently known, I'm sure, as well as uh, as well as it would probably, would, he would probably have to go, we would probably have to travel through each of the nine realms to find, like, one specific piece of Brock's soul. It essentially become, essentially getting his soul back would be impossible. Is the way Mimir explained it. Like I said, theoretically, like I said, in theory, it is possible, just improbable, but, um, so they just kind of gave up. <laughs> Please don't cut out, monitor. I know you like doing that during big emotion, during big important scenes. I'm gonna leave the cut the troll fights the way it was, because like I said, it literally took like a minute.
Let's go. More you take away. That was a reference, uh, that was a very long ago reference. Credits. Okay, uh, that was God of War Ragnarok. Uh, I think I said, I don't even remember what I said. Um, great game, some weird quirks, just like any other game. Um, I like that this is like the quote unquote full ending where you attend the funeral, and I'm glad that I did things in the order that I did. I had a little bit of an advantage, because I... I had originally... Because... Like, because we had to re-record this, so I had a slight advantage that we already knew that the credits were gonna come after the funeral, but we... The first time we recorded this, we, we did... The most blind trials, we defeated Gnaw, then we were like, oh, well, let's go to the funeral since it's the last thing to do, and then we did that, and then the credits happened, and I was like, oh, I'm so glad that this happened, because then it's like, we, we did everything, and then we get the full credits, and there we go, and once again, yeah, we've done everything, here's credits, really glad that we did that, not as epic as, or not as, you know, cool as it happening the first time, where I was completely blind to it, but... I also had to, um... look up those last two, um... enemies, which we could have fought a long time ago, I just didn't remember them uh, at all during the story, because I had to take a month basically a month and a half off of streaming and basically life in general because I had COVID um, and it, it affected me really really badly um like I, wait. excuse me um but yeah I, I definitely feel like some stuff could have been better implemented like some of the augments for like the handles and hilts and stuff were uh like the drought near one perfect example where kind of the four winds adds a concussive wave at the end of the uh, heavy combo i feel like that should have just been a skill we could dump points into <laughs> that is that's definitely Because that's definitely a, a useful ability. Um, we didn't really use it that much, uh, but it's it definitely feels like something we could have added in, and we uh, or that, that could have been added in as just an extra skill, just something we could dump experience into to just upgrade normally and just have as a permanent thing rather than being like, oh, you want this, you know, somewhat useful ability? Well, you get, now you have to equip, or well, you have to use your equipment slot for it. Um, another thing... Uh, the combat in this is phenomenal. Um... I'm terrible at the combat. I definitely feel like the build that I used was really was potentially really powerful in someone who is actually in the hands of someone who is actually good at God of War games. I fully admit, do not if, you, if you're wanting to give me God of War playthrough or the highest difficulty, I am not the person to watch for that. I I play the game for fun and if I. And I if, if I can only beat the game in normal mode, I am perfectly fine with that. When I was younger, I used to play in, like, the highest difficulty. Uh, I played, like, one or two in the highest difficulty, and, um... 
I think it was the second one, actually. I, I started a play... You know what? It was the second one. I started a playthrough in the highest difficulty, and I, like, ran out of magic. And, I, and like, I got... Basically, I got stuck because at the point where... There's a point where we have to use, like, Typhon's bow or whatever. The, the bow or whatever, and... Where, basically, we have to use magic. And magic in the original games is like a meter that you recharge with blue orbs. Uh, and I ran out of magic and ran out of sources to get magic. So I literally got, I literally got soft locked because the, because I didn't, or because I needed magic for something and I didn't have magic. <laughs> Uh, at least I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Maybe I don't. Know, I don't remember for certain. Uh, I know there are cheats you can unlock in the other games that allow you to have like infinite magic and infinite like rage and infinite. Well, not infinite health. That's the only thing that you don't get infinite of. I remember one of my favorite things, one of my favorite abilities in the second one was the, there was a thing you could get to give you one of the abilities from the first game. It basically replaced your, uh, one of your magic abilities with, the, uh, with one of the abilities from the first game. Uh, it was, Chronos Rage was replaced by Poseidon's Rage, which is different, which is the name of a spell, it's not the Rage Beater. Um, and, like, one of my favorite things to do when I was young was just go into big groups of enemies and just spam Poseidon's Rage. Uh, just because it was, uh, it was a really powerful AoE attack and, uh, like, that was me being young and, like, edgy. I think they kind of, like, tried to make God of War a franchise for more my generation, where the, Kratos is kind of, like, mellowed out now that he's older, now that, you know, he's learned about killing, like, oh, if you kill all the gods of a realm, that realm basically ceases to exist, which is what happened in Greece, or when he was in Greece. One thing I would like to, men to see, and I've noticed is a lot of people have mentioned like, oh, maybe the next God of War can go to Egypt or Japan or whatever. Or even like, uh, the Middle East or go into like Hindu stuff or like Vishnu and, you know, the like. But one thing I would like to see is actually going into Rome. Because, remember, the Romans had the same gods as the Greeks. So, it w I think it would be really interesting to be like, how did they come back after Kratos killed them? Did they all ascend like Athena did, and that's how they became, and that's how they became, like, Roman gods or what? The Roman gods or whatever? Um, well, that's just my thoughts on the future of the franchise. Um... Obviously, they wanted Red Nor uh, they wanted God of War, the Norse Saga done in two games, which is why we only had two games. Um, and uh. Yeah, like, uh, th this game, one thing I will say I definitely like about this game is you de you don't really have to work, we didn't really, like, there was a point when we were, like, really struggling with money, and then I was, and then I looked up what the purpose of Shattered Rooms was, and it was just like, oh, you just sell them, and we didn't get that information from the game, so, you know, that would have been nice to have. But, you know, so that we could just be like, oh, these Shadow Roots have no use other than selling. Um, and then we could have just, you know, sold them and 
just completely not had to worry about money, basically from from the beginning of the game. Uh, because there was definitely a, a a point or two when we were like, uh, wow, I, I really wish we could, I really wish I could afford this upgrade to my, I don't know, to my armor, but it cost 20,000 money, and I only have, you know, 5,000, or, and, you know, if, if I, I only have, you know, 21,000, so if I buy that and die, then I can't get another resurrection stone. Um... But yeah, I def like if so like if if we know if I had known that we that shattered runes were just for selling from the beginning, I would absolutely like we would have absolutely not had that problem. Uh, I definitely wish things were a little bit more clear on that. Uh, so yeah, there was a lot of stuff that like that we just had to look up to figure it out. <laughs> I do like what how they've done like the map system for these past two games. How basically uh, the one thing I one thing I definitely wish is I wish they would mark like optional bosses, kind of sorta. You don't even have to say it's an optional boss. You can just leave it as undiscovered, and just just to be like, oh, you just so like for example the. Sleeping Troll in, um, the Lost Fortress, or whatever it was called. The, the, the fortress, the, the, the last troll that we fought, for example. It could have just been a big undiscovered thing right there. there or it could have just been a big thing that said either Sleeping, uh, or, I don't know. Imprisoned Troll, zero out of one, or Imprisoned Foe, zero out of one, or... Or it could have just been, just said, undiscovered, so that, you know, when you hover over the area, you know, you see it, and you're like, Oh, there's an enemy I haven't killed here. Um... It's funny seeing all these names and having to, like, try to remember the voices from, like, a month ago. <laughs> yeah, we, we struggled a little bit more with Gana this time, I think, than last time. Maybe not, uh, maybe, maybe it was about the same amount. Uh... One big, one big thing is, last time we had to spend time learning, kind of learning Gana. This time I kind of had an idea of like a, the general strat, the general strategy they wanted you to use was, hey, always have the Leviathan at ready to go because if you don't, then well, you just are gonna die. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot. I didn't buy a Resurrection Stone after we revived, but I guess it doesn't really matter because we didn't even come close to dying again. It's also kind of weird because, like, do you can like if had we not just coincidentally missed those two earlier on? I say missed, but forgotten that those two were there earlier on. Um, we would have, um, like, we would have beaten Gana and then just been in the same boat we were in last time, where we were like, well, we got this new ability for Freya, and we can't use it on anything, really, because everything, because we beat every boss already. <laughs> Um, so I guess, so, like, that, I feel like that's really gonna be, like, useful for New Game Plus when we, when we finally unlock Freya, or when you, when people finally unlock Freya in New Game Plus, because they'll just be able to be like, oh, I can now use the Queen's Roar on, like, the Berserker spirits, or the 
dragon bosses in Vanaheim, or even King Rolf, or even, or, or yeah, we can even use it against Gna because, you know, now we can, because now we can fight Gna with the ability. Uh, that's like the big thing to look forward to new game. Uh, to look forward to for new game plus. Uh, after these credits end, we're gonna do one more little quick thing, and then we will probably jump back into Horizon Zero Dawn. This. I actually took less longer or less time than I expected. I was like calculating in credits and everything. I was like, it's probably gonna take like three hours, but fortunately, we're at an hour ahead of where I thought we would end up being. Partially because I didn't remember exactly where we left off beforehand, so I thought I still had to do. So I thought I had to do four Muspelheim. Uh. I thought I had to do four Muspelheim combinations uh, trials, essentially, and then the two, like, final trials, so six total trials for Muspelheim, then fight Gana, which I already knew was going to take a couple of attempts because I'm bad at the game, and I had to, like, relearn her patterns and that's, and, you know, that such, and then... Then the funeral, and which we could have saved a little bit more time by fast traveling. It would have maybe saved us five minutes to fast travel instead of going the instead of going the uh, the slow way through the boat. But I think it's I think it's nice. I think it was nice to have that one final boat ride to kind of end things off. Uh, or to kind of, like, I don't know, just, just a bit of time to, like, you know, reflect on stuff and chat and, like, granted, there's less for me to reflect on now than there was when I, for, when we first did it a couple of weeks ago, uh, but yeah, this will probably go up on YouTube, like, tomorrow because <laughs> this was supposed because we were supposed to have been done with this game and then I realized my error I also I need to I also I also really need to go back and finish Ghost of Tsushima but like that that's such a endeavor because like I streamed that and then the la then in the last part we had a bunch of footage corruption or the footage corrupted and like like basically the game was supposed to be uh and the well what happened was the footage corrupted and then I had the glitch that we had with this earlier where for some reason three we had to turn 3D audio on even though even though we're not using... Like, my headset is not a 3D audio headset. But for some reason, if I don't have 3D audio turned on, it sound... All the sounds are, like, in a void. Which is weird, because it's the exact opposite problem of what it should be, where if we don't ha Where if we have 3D audio, we shouldn't be... Everything should be distorted on. It should be distorted, because... Because, again, my headset and speakers are not 3D audio. They're not supposed to be 3D audio anyway, un unless some magical fairy came in and and changed my speakers with, a 3D, with 3D audio ones, which I guess is plausible, but... N or, which I guess is possible, but not probable. <laughs> uh...
Uh, yeah, there's, uh, oh, there's, there's one more thing for us to do, which is also a little bit of a special thing, because I did not use, uh, like, I, apparent, basically, apparently, we can read a dialogue that I did not we can read a dialogue a, a thing that I did not know that we could read uh, those who were here before know what it is but I don't but I'm not gonna spoil what it is Getting ads that I said to not see. Getting ads on my Facebook app that I'm like I that I'm like I blocked this. Thank goodness. Finally, it's like finally, um, oh. Uh, I'll just say irrelevant. I got another ad that is not totally irrelevant, but it is also somewhat... Taking it a lot. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> oh, I hit so many ads on Facebook. My Facebook stopped responding. What the heck? Why can I not? Okay, let's close it and reopen it. Question mark. news is my is um we should have plenty of time to we should still have time to do a little bit of Horizon Zero Dawn it'll be a little bit of a shorter session but All right, it'll be a little bit of a shorter session but we'll still be, um, we should still be good. I say is the right. It's continue taking an extra a significant amount of time. Jeez.
Um, let me... I really, really don't want to, um... I really don't want to... <laughs> I really don't want to, like, scroll, because that might mess something up, but I also will say that the way the game did the credits, the, fir the first game did the credits, was a lot better. Like, I don't like, like, again, this is the big thing I hate about games, and I think a lot of people hate this about big games uh don't just have a black screen with credits scrolling can we please move out of that this era like smash brothers melee had a more had a better ending screen or ending um credits thing uh had better credit a better way of doing credits because at least you had, like, a mini-game you could play. And... And that... Like... Like... Let's just... That's just it. Just the, the static black screen of nothing is just... It looks... It's so... Dull. <laughs> It's so dull and boring and un and, di and unengaging. Like, sure, there's music, but like, <sighs> there's nothing going on. Otherwise, <sighs> I will. Um... I'll upload this tonight, and it will probably go live at the same time as Horizon tomorrow. Um, uh, the Horizon episode tomorrow. I'm starting to get to the point now where I have a big enough backlog to where I can do two videos a day. Um, that's what street streaming every day has done wonders for my video backlog. Uh, that's the reason I stopped, is because I literally got to the point that I was like... Well, I was only streaming like what, like twice a week or whatever. Or even like two or three times a week, like... I was like, getting to the point where I'm like... Well, I have this video... And that's the one video you get for the entire week. Because I don't have any other... Anything else. Uh, but, you know, now that we're, now that I've gotten into a much better streaming schedule, um, well, now that I've gotten a much more free, now that I'm streaming much more frequently, um, now that I'm streaming much more frequently, we, um, I have a lot more, um... I have a lot more content. So, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get more, um... content very soon. Oh, interesting rumor.
Oh, interesting. They're make apparently they're making a new. Well, there's a. Uh, I just saw. Well, I I shouldn't comment on room on rumors. Um. Specific because there, it's a rumor that I know nothing about, and even if I did know anything about it, it would be I would def I would be under an NDA for uh, stuff. Yeah, I, uh... I don't know what to do at this point. We're, like, it's still just credits rolling. <laughs> Which is crazy, because we went through special thanks already, and then... We're still here, just, su just in credits, like, way, way, way... Later, um, I apologize for the background noise that is happening right now. Uh, people being discourteous. Oh, there we go. That's the end of the credits. It looks like finally, that took so long. Just another scuffed thing. Okay, we got the 100% Beyond Riding a Rock completed. Um, we can talk I to this guy. I don't know if there's anything beyond the light. Afterlives, after afterlives, or whatever you... But if there is, I imagine he's causing one crazy ruckus there. Uh, well, he was denied an afterlife, so... Probably... So Brock is probably not... I don't get that dirt for him. What's it called? Something profane. He wouldn't have it any other way. Forgive Sindri, he's just, uh, I mean, you know. Yep. Yes, I do. Kratos also knows what it's like to lose a brother, because Kratos' brother, Deimos, dies in one of the horrible games. I want to say, I think it was Ghosts of Sparta, but I don't remember for sure. Freya, come. We are headed to Midgard, because there's one last thing for us to do. It's kind of funny. Oh, you know what? That's something I forgot about. Um, I mentioned before when we did this that I kind of wish the funeral was like a hidden thing that you had to unlock by doing everything else. Just because, like, we complete like when we completed the game. Look, we completed the game and we could, and then we could 
do, and then we could go straight to the funeral, um, without doing any of the other skills, or quests, so, like, we didn't have to fight Gana or complete the Muspelheim Trials, or even get 100% map completion, uh, aside from, uh, outside of attending the funeral, in order to go to the funeral, we could have just completed the story, gone and did the funeral, and then just had a whole bunch of other side stuff that we could do. Uh... Midgard... Upper Wildwoods... Yeah, we've essentially put the world to right. What is it? Mementos from Atreus's journey. What will you do with that? Add it to our own. His story is ours, and ours is his. Too right, brother. Yeah, Freya doesn't follow us into here. Um. So that should be a scroll. I think. Let's uh, defend the prison to the prison. The destination of the barrier, non violence, abandoned, uh. Freya's Lament, the Acer Promise, no? It's not, it's definitely not a rune read. Oh, Atreus's friends and foes. Oh! Interesting. Okay. So So that that's what that is. Okay. So that just adds Atreus. Okay, that just adds the lore from Atreus to what Kratos already had. Okay. Hold on a second. Oh, those are easier still dues. Okay. Uh, build comfort. Yeah, I, I will say I feel like obviously some stuff can't transfer over into New Game Plus. Uh, like the. Quest related stuff, maybe the Aegisil Dews, Meal of Comfort. That's funny, we still fit, we have four, um, Idalir. Uh, we still have four Timber that we never could use. Uh, we never could use them because we. Full, had full, as far as I could tell, we had fully upgraded everything that Atreus had. Uh...
I thought they were, um... I thought it was a completely different entry, like we were gonna see, like, Kratos, or like, uh, stuff that Atreus was, like, doing on his own, basically. Which would've been interesting to see. And finally, my little family is complete. But putting all that aside for the moment, is there anything else? Something I've been meaning to ask. Once you've projected an emotional trait into spectral form, is it just gone from you? Suppose a friend wished to cast off melancholy, or predilection towards pining. I see. But I'm afraid it's not so simple. My special projections give me a measure of emotional breathing room, but it is only temporary. If I fail to reassimilate them, they start to... fester. Fester? They are concentrated beings of emotion, and if left alone for too long, that emotion feeds on itself and becomes more and more, uh, pronounced. Which is why I must periodically reabsorb them, deal with their emotional baggage internally, and eject them fully recharged. Huh. Absorbing all that emotion at once must be pretty bitter medicine to swallow. Oh, yes, it's quite unpleasant. Terrible, in fact. Do not recommend. <laughs> well, best of luck to your friend, good Master Mamir. Carry on, my friend. Yep, well, basically saying there's nothing we can really do for Sindri other than giving him time. Hi, um... So many... Ragnarok armor's on the house. We'll call it a commemorative piece. Uh... Y'all feeling that? You know where to find me. Yes. And I could sit here and spam upgrades until everything we had until we had purchased and fully upgraded literally everything in the game. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that. I will upgrade the round of obliteration though, because it's very fair. <laughs> very um. A round of disruption too. This seems because this seems like a deadly. could be. Kind of, uh, good. It trades vitality for runic. Um, but yeah, I, uh, but yeah, I definitely feel like we. Probably... Have everything that we need to fully upgrade everything if we wanted to. I just don't think anyone wants to sit there and watch me hold square for like 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, what can I do for a goddess? Uh... This weapons thing is bugged out. Luna. Hi there. I wanted to ask, do you want me to stop talking about your muscles and uh, and, uh, and how you look and stuff? Because it seems like it's making you all wiggly, like in a bad way. It did, but no longer. Oh, okay. So I, so I should stop? Sound like I should stop. No. Oh, all right. Handsome. You beefcake. Uh... Anyway, I wonder if Sindri will ever come back. Can this place ever feel like a home after what happened here? I never thought I'd miss their bickering, but it's really not the same place without those two, is it? We will maintain it until his return. Yep. 
And that is Kratos's ultimate. Yeah. Oh. I do enough to prepare the trace. The lad survived bloody Ragnarok. I should think he's as prepared as anyone could be. To survive, yes. But to love. Brother? Angry brother. Does he? Oh. Well, there were certain topics on which I suppose I may have been a touch more approachable. I did my level best to teach him the ropes. Then you taught the boy to woo. To be perfectly honest, brother, I taught him how I wish I'd wooed. Which is honestly probably better? Uh, the Calvacier poems. Ratchet and Clank. Let's see, I recognize Horizon Zero Dawn. Or, well, Horizon, Ratchet and Clank. Um, Spider Man. Astro Boy. Ghost of Tsushima is. In one of these? Days Gone is one of these. Is that Kingdom Hearts? Huh. Interesting. Uh... But yeah, okay, that's, uh... That's where we're gonna end things off for God of War Ragnarok. Um, for the well, second time. Um, I should have just saved over this one, honestly. But whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will see you. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Okay, uh, later, as soon as I can get to the end recording button. There we go. All right, bye-bye.